we're going to help you uh, adjust it to the few games that you've been back in. Yeah, I think you just want to get back in a rhythm. Uh, it takes some time. Haven't had uh, a ton of practice time, so it's been good just, you know, to work your way back and, uh, you know, feeling better every day. What does it mean to, the, to get some home press with Sam? Yeah, yeah, it's big. Obviously, Rass is a big part of our group uh, and our back end. He, he moves the puck well, skates well. Um, so he's been working hard to get back, so it's nice to get him. Uh, playing with TJ Brody again mm. for nine games in the season, mm. what does it mean to kind of be reunited with Yeah, it's nice. Uh, I mean, Brody's a great player, uh, you know, very good defensively. Um, you know, moves it well, skates well. Um, so, and, and, and we've had a chance to play together in the past, so we're pretty comfortable with one another. So hopefully, uh, I mean, we can help each other out. And again, when you're getting back into a rhythm, it's nice to, to be familiar with that. So hopefully, uh, I'm, I'm able to play well tonight. You've been playing that game last week against the Blues. What can you take away from just watching the footage and yeah. what they might deploy? Yeah, playing them recently, obviously, we have a good idea of what they're trying to do. We just, you know, talked about it, and, you know, they're a good team in transition. They have skill. They have speed. Um, you know, there were certain things that night uh, that we did well that we're going to try to repeat, and then there's obviously areas to clean up. So I think it's a good opportunity for us to look at the video to talk about what we need to do as a team, so there's no reason for us not to be prepared here tonight. You're back. Rasmus is back. The reset, Joe, almost at the halfway point. Mm -hmm. The reset for the team. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think at the end of this week we'll be at the halfway point, and um, it's a good opportunity to kind of, um, I mean, look at your game as an individual, look at the team's game, and uh, I mean, think about what we can do better, talk about the areas of improvement, and I mean, move forward. I think that there's been a lot of good things, and um, so as a group we'll be ready to to play hard this week, and then like you said, it's a chance to you know, you know, move on to the back half of the season with um, with good momentum and I mean, good intention. And, um, I think we'll be in a good position. Morning, last night with the Bills game, mm -hmm. you know, it's not something related here directly, but what impact does it have on you as a pro athlete and, you know, being in a sport that, you know, obviously has risks that way? Yeah, yeah, I mean, um, I wasn't watching the game at the time, and, um, you know, I don't feel comfortable talking about another guy's, uh, you know, health situation. And, but um, I mean, when that stuff happens, it's all it's, it's always very scary. It's not just exclusive to athletes. I mean, that's, you know, always out there. And um, I think that uh, puts things in perspective. And, um, you know, for us, for everybody, I think you want to always keep your health in mind. And, you know, when that happens, you just, you know, I mean, you're grateful to have people around you that are qualified to help you. And hopefully that was the case last night and hopefully everything's all right. How much of the Canada game did you see? What do you think of Bedard's goal? Uh, Bedard's goal was obviously, you know, pretty nice. And, you know, he's done a good job uh, in the last couple of tournaments, you know, being able to, to play well for his country. And, um, I mean, World Juniors is always a cool thing. And uh, so we're cheering for those guys for sure. Morgan, the uh, MVP belt that you guys have, uh, how much does it help the locker room keep guys loose? And what do you think of it in general? Yeah, it's fun. I think it's just a good thing after a game, um, you know, just another way to kind of um, acknowledge a win. We don't do it after losses. So um, I think as much acknowledgement as you can pay towards a good effort and a team win, I think that's always a good thing. Uh, I mean, it's easy just to kind of, you know, be in a routine. You play 82 games. Hopefully you're winning, you know, more than half of those, but you never know, I guess. But um, I think uh, it's just, it's you know, it's a nice way for the team to, to, I mean, have something at the end of the night to acknowledge a guy that had a special effort. You know, not always the guy that scored the most goals, but did something maybe to help the team. So, I mean, lots of teams do it for us. Uh, I mean, we, I don't think we did it last year, so it's nice to get back into that. It's just a nice way for guys to feel acknowledged and feel recognized, and um, I think that's important. How much would you like to have it tonight? I want to have it every night. <laughs> I want to ask about Nylander's shot. Specifically, kind of how he seems to like kind of feather the puck in a certain way. It's like, um, get, how impressive is that? He doesn't always yeah. hard, but he can pick that spot. So yeah, clean. yeah. Willie obviously is is putting the puck in the net this year, and it's nice to see. And uh, yeah, he has that elite shot that he can rip the rip the puck pretty hard. But then he also yeah has that um, way to be able just to pick a spot and just feather it in and, and beat goalies that way. So uh, yeah, Willie's uh, definitely an elite scorer. Uh, did you see Bedard's goal last night? That's nice. That was uh, an exciting game for sure, and uh, um, yeah, it was. Uh, he had a lot of chances in that overtime, and it was nice to see him uh, be able to put one in there. Yeah, a lot of rivalry as you get down to the final four teams there. A lot of back and forth on who's going to win this thing. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, I'm Canadian, so I want Canada to win, and um, it's always an exciting tournament when it comes around, and I know everyone's watching it, so uh, we'll see how it goes. 
Can you guys go to the last week? You said there were some chaotic moments and there needed to be a little bit more control in moments. What's the game plan tonight to stay in control and maintain that control? Yeah, I think I think we just gotta you know stick to our game, stick to what's been working, and um, not try to force too much. And um, the offense will come and just kind of you know play well defensively, and then things happen on the offensive side that way. So I think if we just stick to our game and what's been working for us, uh, it won't be as uh, chaotic. Hopefully. Pardon me. Oh, Sandy. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Sorry, I didn't hear. You. Uh, yeah, Sandy um, brings a lot to the to the table when he's in. He's very offensive, and I think he's been playing great defensive as well. And he's another look on that power play. So um, we're all excited to have him back. So what stands out from the last game you guys played against Spurs that you could kind of use to, to prepare? Yeah, I got the question yesterday. You know, my comment was that it was the first game coming out of the break, so I don't know if you overanalyze that one too much, but. Uh, you know, I, th I thought in that game that, you know, some of their size, especially on on defense, um, but it, just any time pucks were on the walls, I thought they they were a lot to, to contend with there, and then they're very dangerous and in transition when you give them those opportunities. So those are a couple areas of focus for us. Does it change your preparation at all without guys like Tarasenko and Ryan O'Reilly as focal points? No. I mean, it, I wouldn't necessarily say they were pretty – we don't – Focus a lot on individual players, uh, you know, I think it's more so their team identity and, and all of that. Obviously, those are important players, but I think uh, if we've learned anything through the season with what we've experienced ourselves on the back end, that uh, sometimes you, you see teams lose players and you, and you think it's going to have an impact one way and it ends up being a positive another way. It's because everybody else steps up, so uh, we don't get too caught up in that stuff. You see the Bedard goal last night, and it's last night kind of a game that uh, you know recaptures kind of the love for junior hockey that, that people have given what's happened to it in the last year or something. Yeah, I did, I did, I did catch it. I haven't followed the tournament very closely, but I, I caught the third period in overtime last yeah. night. So it was nice to see them get rewarded because it seemed like it was it was somewhat in inevitable, especially as you got to three on three. But when you're when it's one shot, you never quite know. But uh, yeah, terrific goal and. Uh, we're certainly fortunate that he's a Canadian boy. What do you expect from the team as uh, the blue line gets a little bit more healthy every day? Well, I just uh, expect us to keep playing the way that we have and, and not, uh, you know, not look to other people or anything like that. I mean, the, the strength of our team and, and how we were able to have such a strong November and, and December, maybe not as strong, but a, a good December as well, is just our team game has really carried, carried us through. Um, so I think sometimes, <clears throat> sometimes there's a natural tendency to look to others, especially if we've got some really good players, that, you know, and, both forward and defense, but when we really pulled together and relied upon our team game to carry us and then have individual performances push through uh, within that, that's what's given us the greatest chance of success. So that's what you want to have continue is everybody just comes in and does their job and plays within our structure and, and the individual greatness, you know, comes through within that. Carl Dahlstrom's been skating. I know he went through a significant injury. Is he progressing at least a little better than maybe you think? Yeah, I, I mean, because of the nature of his injury, it's not one that I've I've asked a whole lot about, or nor do they give me much update because he's got a long road ahead. But obviously, it's an upper body situation for him, so he's able to do a lot more in terms of skating and, and whatnot. But <clears throat> he's he's long ways away from from entering into the equation but it's certainly nice to see that's not an easy uh surgery or recovery and he's been around and in our room and around our team and stuff like that to, uh, you know and he's sort of the forgotten guy uh, but uh, with the number of injuries we went through you you know it wasn't forgotten for me because you know we started to get you know pretty deep into the to the pool of players there at the hl level and he was going to be one of our you know uh, first call-ups and did a good job for us last season. So, you know, we certainly missed him at that point in time, but it was a good chance for others to step up. And all of a sudden, you know, between uh, the crawls and hollow wells and, and, and stuff like that, uh, you, you give them some experience that will help us down the line. But, um, you know, I think he's progressing well and, and he's in good spirits and all that kind of stuff. And you know, hopefully he'll become an option for us at some point, but I think that's a ways away. Can you raise a very home-friendly schedule for you guys? What are the keys to getting into a good rhythm at home, do you think? 
Uh, just not getting comfortable. I think that's the big thing. We've played really, really well and had good results here. Uh, it's, you know, the nature of our schedule. A lot of times you, we kind of bounce around, you know, between home and away. But, you know, it's pretty consistent. We'll, we'll scoot out for a short trip here or there. But it is a good opportunity for us to get some real traction here on home ice and just kind of get into it, that rhythm that you talk about. But, you know, you never want to get uh, complacent or comfortable within that. Um, you know, especially tonight, we're playing against a team that plays really well on the road and uh, all of that. And we're coming back off of a road trip and all of these things. So be excited to play at home, but uh, understand that, you know, there's work required and purpose and all those kind of things that we bring to the road. You want to bring that back here at home. I think that's been a big, big part of our mentality. So last night, what happened in Buffalo? obviously raise a lot of perspectives and emotions. Does that cross over into all sports and all aspects of life when something like that happens? Yeah, I think you, you can't help but feel that. It's another reminder that we're playing the game and, and some things such as that are well above um, anything that we're doing. Uh, I think that the right decision was made in terms of uh, not continuing the game and, and all of that, both for the, uh, the player you know, who uh, was injured and had the, uh, had, had that situation, but also the, everybody else impacted both in witnessing it and seeing all of that and then how that plays on your mind to play such a physical and competitive sport, really any sport for that matter. That would be a tough thing to do to have to continue. So you never want to see games cancelled or postponed and there's a lot that goes into it and fans and all of that, but I, I would like to think everybody can be understanding in that situation.